The disciples devoted themselves with one accord to prayer with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brethren. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries by first calling to mind our sins and asking the Lord for pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Now, almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have celebrated the Paschal festivities may by your gift hold fast to them in the way that we live our lives through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When he entered Rome, Paul was allowed to live by himself with the soldier who was guarding him. Three days later, he called together the leaders of the Jews. When they had gathered, he said to them, My brothers, although I had done nothing against our people or our ancestral customs, I was handed over to the Romans as a prisoner from Jerusalem. After trying my case, the Romans wanted to release me because they found nothing against me deserving the death penalty. But when the Jews objected, I was obliged to appeal to Caesar, even though I had no accusation to make against my own nation. This is the reason, then, I have requested to see you and to speak with you. For it is on account of the hope of Israel that I wear these chains. He remained for two full years in his lodgings. He received all who came to him, and with complete assurance and without hindrance, he proclaimed the kingdom of God and taught about the Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold. His searching glance is on mankind. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The Lord searches the just and the wicked. The lover of violence he hates. For the Lord is just, he loves just deeds. The upright shall see his face. The just, the just will, will gaze, gaze on, on your face, face, O Lord. Your blessing, Father. May Almighty God be in your heart and on your lips, and you proclaim his holy gospel, we and well, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. A reading from the conclusion of the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Peter turned and saw the disciple following whom Jesus loved, the one who had also reclined upon his chest during the supper and had said, Master, who is the one who will betray you? When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about him? Jesus said to him, What if I want him to remain until I come. What concern is it of yours? You follow me. So the word spread among the brothers that the disciple would not die. 
But Jesus had not told him that he would not die, just, what if I want him to remain until I come? What concern is it of yours? It is this disciple who testifies to these things and has written them, and we know that his testimony is true. There are also many other things that Jesus did, but if these were to be described individually, I do not think the whole world would contain the books that would be written. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Today we hear beautiful accounts of how St. Paul and St. Peter and St. John all proclaimed the kingdom of God. They were all apostles. They were all witnesses who knew the risen Lord. And we're hearing accounts of how they gave their lives to proclaiming God's love. We could say that they were living the Eucharist, right? According to their individual circumstances. And their circumstances were individual for sure. It's a good opportunity for us to ponder and consider how is it that we are living the Eucharist? And by that I simply mean, how is it that we find ourselves living in sacrifice for others so that life may flourish? Even in a time when we're unable to physically approach the altar, what is it that we are offering in sacrifice that God may be glorified? And even in a time when we're unable to physically receive from the altar, how is it that God continues to nourish us and to send us forth to love in his name? How are we living the Eucharist? In the Acts of the Apostles today, we see St. Paul imprisoned and awaiting his martyrdom. But the focus is not on his death. The focus is on how he remained faithful, proclaiming Jesus, teaching about Jesus to all who came to him. He was living the Eucharist according to his unique circumstance. And at the conclusion of the Gospel of John, we see the value of recognizing our individual calls, especially as we see St. Peter pondering St. John and their different fates. You remember that yesterday Jesus told Peter that he would not only shepherd his flock, but he told him how he would die. And St. Peter today is a little distracted by hearing that John, the beloved disciple, would not have the same fate. His testimony would be different. We hear the value of surrendering our individual lives, giving ourselves to God as instrument, placing ourselves in his hands for his glory because it's personal. Our life is between God and us. You know, this week I had the privilege of presiding at the burial of a young lady uh, who her family would very um, specifically and loudly say she died too young. And they told me how she sacrificed for her family, how she loved her family. And while they are incredibly heartbroken, all that they can recall is her joy, her laughter, and how she seemed to recognize her unique call in the world. And she lived it faithfully and joyfully. She proclaimed God's kingdom according to her own circumstances. And in so many words, they said her life was Eucharistic. She was sacrificing for others so that life may flourish. Today, we can allow her witness and the witness of Paul and Peter and John to embolden us huh? because the world needs the Eucharistic witness. In the wake of the tragic death of people at the hands of others and as the cries for justice flourishes and as the evil of racism tries to rear its ugly head, the world hungers for expressions of sacrifice so that life may flourish. It hungers for the gospel. It hungers for an expression of Eucharist. My friends, let us ask God for light on the path that we might carry out what he has given us to do with our unique situation, our unique gifts, our unique relationships. There will never be another you or you, or you, 
How are our lives intended to give God glory? St. John tells us that many things Jesus did are not written here in sacred scripture. I think a big part of that reason is that he is working in our lives right now. How is he calling us to be Eucharistic? Let us now arise and gather the needs of this day and present them to God the Most High. For our holy church, may the Lord bless her and protect her from all evil. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. For police officers, corrections officers, and all who work in law enforcement, may God grant them wisdom and prudence in carrying out their duties with justice and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear our, prayer. our prayer. For all those who suffer from chronic or long-term illness and those who live with disability, may God provide them comfort and healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For we who are gathered today, may the grace of the Holy Spirit pour into our lives so that we can follow Jesus more fully. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our, our prayer, prayer. For, oh, for the faithful departed, especially for Elizabeth Ticknor, for whom this Mass is offered. May God grant them a peaceful passage from this life to the next. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Good and gracious God, bring the needs of this day, those spoken, those within our hearts, those yet unknown. We ask that you grant them all through your Son, Jesus Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Stand and pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the Holy Spirit, coming near, we pray, O Lord, prepare our minds for the divine sacrament, since the Spirit himself is the remission of all sins, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them, them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. just. 
It is truly right and just your duty in our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder, mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts. He ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is, is he who comes, comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, to graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save, Save us, us Savior, Savior of the world, the world for by, by your cross and, and resurrection you, you have set, set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with her blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Monica, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory 
through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we stand and dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, and glory, the glory are yours now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace in unity in accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you, that you should enter, enter under my, my roof, roof, but only say, say the word, word and my, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. Holy Spirit will glorify me, for he will take from what is mine and declare it to you, says the Lord. Alleluia.
Let us stand and pray. Here in our compassion, in your, here in your compassion, our prayers, O Lord, that as we have been brought from things of the past to new mysteries, so with former ways left behind, we may be made new in holiness of mind through Christ our Lord. Amen. This being a Saturday, I once again will be uh, having my uh, Facebook time uh, with some of you at least and some others as well at 11 o'clock today, 11 to 11.30. Uh, I'm going to talk this Saturday about our reopening plans, uh, in particular for Mass, uh, Sunday Mass here at St. Monica. So I invite you to uh, join in at 11 o'clock today uh, at our Facebook page as I, I talk about the plans. Also, um, this will probably be my last Saturday doing this uh, Facebook time. Uh, there's so many other demands upon me right now. I'm, I'm actually finding it difficult to juggle all of it, particularly uh, working through uh, the plans uh, to reopen for Sunday Mass. But if I get a bee in my bonnet about something, well, I'll be, I'll be back on, on the air. So again, I invite you to join me today for a Facebook time at 11 a.m. to talk about our reopening plans uh, here at St. Monica, in particular for Sunday Mass. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. To God.